Alright, so um, this is going to be our uh, biggest project yet. Not in physical size, but in um, output performance. What you're looking at here is a stator out of an old washing machine motor and you're going to need something like this if you wish to do this project. So um, you're going to have a nice smooth um, outer circumference which is nice and round and on the inside you're going to have all your steel fingers coming off of that. Of course the rotor used to sit in here for the motor. Um, this was a three phase motor and um, like I said found in an old washing machine. So the aim of this project this is going to be a pulse motor driving a generator we are going to use one of my circuits we are not going to use a Houdini circuit um, and this is also going to be the generator and what we're hoping is that we can load the generator without showing any effect on the input power to the pulse motor um, what it will show is an effect on the output power of the pulse motor so this one will also be driving a um, load like a fan or something like that so um, the idea is to draw power off of the generator drop the input power to the pulse motor as well as increase the torque of the pulse motor so in this project the first thing we have to do is get all this wire off of the uh, fingers which I've already started doing as you can see but um, they've kindly overlapped the winding so I can only take two lots off and then the wire is actually underneath one of the other ones so I can't get it out because um, I now have it wrapped on that large spool so now I'm going to have to start unwinding the second lot and then probably the third lot and do two spools of each set of windings at a time so um, I'm going to go ahead and do that now and um, we'll come back when I've got all the wire off Okay, so we've got all our wire off, it's on our three spools, um, who can see a uh, error there? Well, this one here is the only one that will fit through the middle, <coughs> and of course the other two spools will not, but it wasn't an error, that's all I had laying around to put our wire on, so I'm going to have to empty this one and then wind one back onto that one, and so forth. Um, this motor was wound in the oddest way and um, I don't know what kind of setup was driving that but um, <coughs> it has 12 poles as you can see and um, the wire well, each um, lot of wire was wrapped one two three and then one on the opposite side one two three one on the opposite side so each spool was wrapped around four segments to give us our 12 but three segments close together one on the opposite side so I don't know what that's all about and the rotor for it which I'll just grab okay the rotor which is this gizmo here only has 10 magnetic faces on it. Our stator has 12 and like I said it was wrapped 3 and 1, 3 and 1, 3 and 1. So very odd, I've never seen a motor wrapped like that and I'm, um, I haven't had a really good thing about it but uh, first thoughts I don't understand how it works. Anyway, um, our next job is to cut every second one of these out. So we're going to do this by um, using hacksaw, take the blade off the hacksaw, feed it through here and then put the blade back on the hacksaw, cut that off. Um, we'll have to use a fine hacksaw blade, fine tooth blade, so as we don't totally destroy and bend all the laminates and everything and take our time with it. So that's our next bit, chop every second one out, so we only have six left, this will be a six pole set up. Um, and then we're also going to uh, cut off all the excess plastic 
around our core, leaving some on the top, some on the bottom, and of course the plastic is still around the uh, core to the left. So we'll go ahead, go and do that, and um, we'll come back and have a look at the finished product. Okay, so we have every second leg cut out, and um, all we have to do now is go and file them smooth. We're then going to um, wrap our whole core in insulation tape so as we don't cut the wires. I used a belt sander to get all the plastic down level, and I ran it around the edge to um, smooth off that sharp edge. But we're still going to wrap it in insulation tape to make sure there's no shorts anywhere and we don't cut our wire um, and then we're going to go on to the uh, winding of the whole device and we're going to make sure um, all our windings are good not shorted and uh, we're going to have a look at the um, orientation of those windings and what kind of windings we actually need on here this is going to be a transistor triggered um, motor pulse motor um, and the transistor triggered pulse motor has been around um, way well, well way back in the uh, early 60s so um, for those Houdini fans out there that think I'm going to be using his idea I'm afraid it's not his idea um, it was around a long long time um, before that uh, pulse motor circuit came out. Um, he has simply removed the capacitor resistor that is normally across the drive coil and replaced that capacitor with a battery and a resistor with a diode. That is the only difference. So the circuit that we are using does not belong to him um, as it was um, produced way back in the 60s and I will put a link to the um, old uh, radio circuits pamphlet and that will show you the original uh, transistor triggered pulse motor uh, so one has to wonder where um, some people actually get their ideas from and make money from it but anyway as usual all my stuff's going to be out there for free and we will deal in facts not fiction um, this setup is actually very closely related to Tesla's um, generator one of Tesla's generators and one of his motor configurations and uh, we're actually combining the two together and there is actually one of his patents out there that does that very thing um, except this is a little different and of course he didn't have transistors to switch his on and off it was all done with commutators and that sort of rubbish but uh, today we got the modern crap and we can do it um, with far greater efficiencies so um, that's it for this video keep it short and sweet there's a lot out there saying, oh, your videos have got too much in them, they're too long. Fair enough, we'll go piece by piece, and um, we'll see where we end up with this little number. Cheers, guys.